Welcome back to the Java tutorial and today we're going to be finding the volume and surface area of a cylinder. So the volume is pi r squared times height and the area is 2 pi r times height plus 2 pi r squared. And here's some example inputs. If the input is for radius is 24 and height the input is 7, here's what our volume should be and this is what our surface area should be. So first we need a scanner to get user inputs. We could say scanner SCNR equal to a new scanner system dot in so we're gonna get we're gonna get an error right here because we need to import java.util.scanner now that we have it imported our error goes away okay now we're gonna need some variables to hold everything so we could say double radius so we're making it a double because we don't want it to be like an integer which is a whole number we can say double radius equals scanner dot next double and we can say double height. Also going to be scanner dot next double. So this is going to be the user input. So if the end if the user enters twenty four, it's going to be stored in the, in the radius, and if the enters seven, it's going to be stored in the height. And now we need um we need our own separate variables to actually hold like the volume and the surface area. So we could say double volume and double surface area so these are going to be undefined right now because we're going to use them once we like have our equations and whatever like we we get as a result of our equations we're going to put into these and then we can print them okay so let's calculate the volume first so we can say volume equal so it's going to be pi Oops, that's spelled wrong no, that's right so we can say volume equals to math dot pi so that takes care of the pi and then we're gonna have to multiply that times r squared so the way we could do that we could do math dot power math dot power times radius and the way we do r squared we do radius times 2 so that takes care of this and then we just multiply that by height See if I can break this down. Math.pi corresponds to pi, which is pretty simple enough, correspond to this. We're gonna do math.pi times math.power. Math.power takes a number to a certain power. We're taking a certain number, which would be radius, to the power of two, which would be taking care of this. And then we're gonna multiply that times height. So that's how we get our volume. And then we're gonna do something similar for surface area. So we can do surface area equals, so we could do Two time, oops, times math dot. We're gonna have to do math dot pi. So that takes care of this, and then we can multiply math dot pi times radius because it's times r, and then multiply that times height. Okay, so we have this part done. And now we need to add the next part. And we're just following the equation right here. So we could do 2 times math math.pi again, which would be this 2 pi. And then we need to do r squared. The way we did r squared again, we did math.pi times math.power, or just pal in this case. And we want to take r and square, which would be radius, take it to the second power. Okay, we have that. So I think we're done. So we do 2 times math.pi, which would be the pi, times r squared. So it looks like we're done for the equation. Now we just got to print it out. So we could do sysl. We could say... Oh. So one thing, I want to format it so it looks like these numbers. So you could do, instead of print line, you could do print F, which stands for print format. You could say volume. And then we need a format. So we do the percentage sign. And we want to, let's do one, only one decimal dot, one F. And that looks good. We'll add a new line. So slash N, it's going to be the new line character. Because uh, we can't, we could add a new line using another print statement. We could just use it slash n 
all this, all this does is it adds a new line. And we need to tell Java what we're going to be formatting. In this case, we're going to be formatting volume. That will get rid of our error. So let's actually let's actually do a test run. So let's do for radius 24 and 7. So volume is, yeah. So we actually got it right for this one. So we have to do something similar. Oops. Instead of print line, we do print afterwards, print format. And instead of volume, we'll do service area. We'll leave the one dot f because we still want to uh, format at one decimal point, and we'll just say service area. Let's do twenty-four and seven. Looks like we got it. So let me get rid of this slash n, so I can show you what that means. So slash n is just a new line. So if we don't have that. It's going to be next to each other but if you don't want to like get confused you can just have an empty print statement which we'll you just add a new line just like that so we'll just leave the empty print line print new line statement just like that this makes it better let's do let's tell the user what we're gonna what we need from enter radius let's have a little spot for them right there And then enter height. Let's get rid of this new line so it's all together. Now let's run. Enter radius 24. Enter height 7. Volume equals this number, which matches up to that one. And then height is this number. So it looks like we're done. Let me put the code back on the screen. If this helped you in any way, just leave a like and subscribe.